Hello world! So the implementation of true, well let's start with the implementation of false. False is a POSIX command. Its job is to return non-zero. It's kind of old, copyright statement, there it is in POSIX. The toy line is basically just, you know, it takes no arguments, it's installed in slash bin, it does not parse help, and the reason is so if you go using the one built into bash, for example, false potato, it doesn't know what it means. So you can't go false dash dash help. Uh, one of the reasons for this is you can use true and false as ways of ignoring everything done on the command line, and the redirects will happen, but if you have like an environment variable definition that uh, thingy, uh, what is it, equals, let's try equals, yeah, that defined a value to the variable even if it didn't exist, so people tend to do this with the colon alias for true. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but you can do like five or ten of those on the same You can do many of those on the same command line, and it is a way of, if this is not currently defined, give it this default value. So, false is no help, because it's supposed to ignore all of its arguments, even dash dash help and dash dash version. And then may fork is a shell thing, we, we'll get to that when we cover the shell. Its config blob is, the command name is false in the menu, it defaults to being enabled because it it's not in pending, it's in POSIX, it's as finished as it's likely to get. The usage line is just false, no arguments, and it returns non-zero. And then there's the standard include, there's no globals or anything, and all it does is sets the exit value to 1 and exits, returns from the main function. This differs from true in true's job is to return zero. It's as old. It's got a. It's got its own standard. Uh, this has an almost identical new toy line. It's in bin. There's no help, and it may uh, may fork means it can be run built into the shell, or it can run as its own standalone process. There's a no fork, and there's a may fork, and then not having any of them means must fork. And then here is an old toy alias that is colon for the true command. So this connects it up to there and says that another name it can be done as is colon. And this one is no fork. And no fork says it cannot be run as an external process. So this doesn't show up in the list of toybox commands when you run toybox. It won't create a symlink for it. If you try to run it from the toybox toy box multiplexer, it doesn't know what it is. Toybox colon, it goes, I have no idea what you're talking about, because it's not hooked up to that, it is only available as a shell built-in. Uh, and even that one is no help, so that if you do define one of those variables to dash dash version or something like that on the command line that should be ignored, you never get a behavior other than returning, doing nothing successfully, or doing nothing and reporting failure. So, it's true, so that use true, that string comes from here. Uh, that This one is used in menu config, so if I go make menu config, it goes POSIX commands true, woo, true, exact same help text. Uh, it defaults to being enabled in def config. The usage is just true, so return zero, no globals. And all it does is return. And in fact, this line isn't needed. All that is actually needed is the semicolon. This could be the smallest command if you just did, well, all that is actually required to make a command is really you don't even need that. You need that. 
this is I can remove the blank space this is kind of the smallest possible toy box command modulo you don't even need all of these because if you did a zero on this it would try to install it in the root directory I think that would build not gonna play with it right now but this is kind of the minimum boilerplate we can get into that later Wee. Okay, 